What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you guys can hear me perfectly. Um, this is the next day, obviously, and kind of one of my best tools that I'm gonna use today is, are these hard knee pads right here, these bad boys. I did a review on them a while back, but definitely check these out. These got the gel infused foam padding with the plastic guard, with the uh, shoe textured uh, grip on the knee pad. Cool tabs right here. You just snap that off, and then this one Velcro. So um, today, like the title of this video, we got the uh, Husky um, Patio set with the three uh, three racks in them. Um, I've already done one of them, just so I can smooth through this video a little bit faster and uh, kind of kind of not make it too too long. So I got this laid out. If you are doing this and you only bought one of them, or you still bought two and you plan on knocking both out on the same day, definitely make sure you um, either A, start with one of them, or B, um, have some, uh, like a tarp, something soft or something that these can like kind of lay on and rest on when you take it out of the box. Um, just because I have this type of concrete flooring and I don't want to scratch nothing up or ding nothing. Um, now these these cabinets do come with a uh, a clear protective liner on the outside so you do have to peel that and that's the only part that kind of gets like marred and kind of scratched. Um, my first cabinet I put together didn't really have any too, too much damage on it. It probably had like one little ding and I'll show you guys that towards the end once I'm done building this, but um, yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so now we pretty much got um, everything laid out. Let me show you guys. So we got everything laid out. Uh, this piece right here, this is the shelf. This is another shelf, another shelf. And then this piece right here that's kind of bulky with the screw, um, screw bits in there. That is the top. And then there's the bottom. Now they can go vice, I believe, um, this one's the top only because it doesn't have holes on it. And I'll bring you guys in for a closer look so you can guys can see what I'm talking about here. So, like I said before, these are the shelves right here. They got the little notches right here where we're gonna be able to attach these to make the shelves hold. Um, here's obviously the top because you can tell that they have the uh, magnet strips on here for the doors to, you know, kind of magnetize. These are pre-drilled holes. These are the backing plates. So there's multiple of these. They go on the back. Um, here, right, right here, we have the uh, sides. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about before with the marring of the box. I don't know if you guys don't know, this is kind of like a mar right here. That's what we call them, like the car industry. Marring, scratches, whatever. But then this one is the bottom because it has these holes. I'm not so sure why it has these holes. Matter of fact, I don't even think I used them on the last one, but uh, that's kind of what the package says. So this is the front with the two holes right here. Yeah, definitely gotta look that up for you guys, but Obviously you want them facing inward because they have the little notches for the um, hooks to slide in for the doors. And then what's pretty cool about this set, this whole Husky set comes with the uh, legs, just how this one came with the legs. So it's pretty much the same. Comes with everything you need. Uh, you got the gaskets if you wanna push one of these holes out. If you want to push one of these holes out, you can. If you want to plug something in, those are the backing plates. Then I see it comes with the um, mounting set 
You even can do this without a drill the hard way and do it with the wrench that it comes with, or it even has the uh, drill adapter piece. But like I said, already done this before, so I already put it online. So I'm ready to go. And it comes with like 42 different screws for this drill bit. So uh, this is kind of what the instruction manual looks like. Kind of shows you everything you need to um, use. Map out, lay out. Here it is. We gotta first put the back on. See, it says the front. It has the two holes right here. And then it's the back. And then we see those little notches in the front end where the door's gonna go. So, first we attach these side walls. We already got that set up, laid out for us to go. And then we can put on the uh, legs. Once we attach the legs, then we attach the top of it. Then we start putting on the back plates. And we start screwing in um, what's considered to be the uh, shelf system. Obviously we put in a couple more screws here and there once the back and all that's completed. And then, um, like I said, you can cut out, if you wanted to go in the back for something to plug in, you can mount it to the wall. You see the walls right here, you can mount it to the wall and whatnot with that little clamp. I'm not too sure how that works, but yep, yeah, that's everything in its entirety. Um, like I said, I've already done this before, so I'm gonna kind of fly through this process. Um, feel free to pause the video, stop the video, or whatever. If you need to know, if you need to look at the manual, obviously. Um, but you'll see me put on, you'll see me put on the back and the side pieces. Once I get the back and the side pieces on, then I will throw this front piece on right here, on top of that, get everything screwed in. Then I'll put on the backing plates. I'll flip this whole thing up, stand it up, make sure everything's good. Flip it over on its back, throw on the backing plates. Once I'm done throwing on the backing plates, then what I'll do is throw on the shelves and then I will throw on the doors over there. I don't know if you saw me put the doors over there, but I put the doors right there. So here we go. Now, just to pause real quick, um, you guys saw me, um, I had to switch the sides. I had them on the wrong side. I just had this one flip this way. So I put it on this side. So I guess just a rule of thumb, warning sticker. Obviously it goes on the bottom left. There's nothing on the right side, but another um, thing to notice would be if these don't line up and this one doesn't line up, it is, if it doesn't look like it goes there, um, just flip them, obviously. That means they're just, you know, two opposite sides. Um, yeah, but I guess right now, let me see here. Yeah, this is like the little plastic right here that I was talking about, so. We'll peel that. I kind of will peel that, I guess, at the end to kind of show you guys. But uh, now we're gonna put the top on. So literally the same thing, let's go. Okay, now that I got the top on, I just wanna kinda show you guys what I'm doing with the legs. So basically what I'm doing, cause I kinda want them, you know, as, as tall as possible. And like I said, I kinda wanna get everything off of the ground, even though this clearance is enough, but I just want it sitting a little bit taller. Basically what I'm doing with these, I'm taking them all, all four of them out, and then I'm just putting it in, in the groove to where it fits. 
6.1. Oh, let me find it. One. Oh, you can tell finding holes is hard for me. <laughs> uh, all right, one. Thought I had it. One. Okay, didn't have it. Jesus, lifting up to my rep. One, two, three. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing with all of them. So, one, two, three. So, yep, that's my plan for these. Okay, so we got that put together. Pretty nice, pretty nice. All we gotta do is uh, peel this plastic. As you can see, um, there's the marring right there from you know being in the box, being about bounced, bounced around and stuff. We'll just take this plastic off. Brand new wonder, baby. So I'm not really gonna show you guys that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty self-explanatory right there. I'll just rip those off. It's pretty much on the outside and a little bit on the inside right here. It's only gonna be these two side walls. The doors actually don't have them on there because they're like hidden inside the package to where they won't get damaged. I believe the shelves have it on them, but I just leave it on there. It's just a protective coating anyway. So pretty much just taking this off the outside and um, knocking off this stuff right here. So it's pretty much. Uh, next up is the shelving method. So you can see right here, they've got the uh, teeth, the, gro uh, the grooves for the teeth to slide in. Um, I believe I'm gonna do like a one, two, and a three, kind of evened out shelf. And then I'll slap on the doors. I have that all in one video. You can see the doors are just pretty self-explanatory. Just line these up um, with the grooves right here. There are the pre-drilled in here, and then you'll be good to go. So here we go. Bam, and there we have it. It's all put together, guys. Um, once again, nice Husky logo. Um, the quality, the finish on this thing is real beautiful. As you can see, I really don't have any exterior damages, so I guess I'm kind of lucked out on that. But um, pretty, pretty simple to put forward. As you guys saw me doing in this video, a lot was um, hand tightening the screws first. You definitely want to do that. You don't want to go straight to the drill attachment and just start hammering net, uh, screws because you can kind of like throw something off or mess up the screw if you're, if you're not too careful. Um, again, I love this thing. Enough space in here um, to pretty much do anything. I kind of got this shelf sitting down a little bit lower, um, but you can you can do that. Like I got this is my top rack, my second, my third. Um, they did have different latches right there that you can see that you can move it up and down. Um, so you can do that. Also, one of the other things I love about this is the pegboard. Like pegboard on each side. Obviously, you have to buy those. Um, those are definitely sold separately. Um, that is so clutch because if you have a ton of stuff in here, um, you could eventually like set the shelf up, like how I got this one a little bit more space. I could throw in some pegs right here, throw my DA polisher right there on the door, just close it up, throw some other tools, some detail brushes, 
uh, some bottles, you know, just anything, and I'll be good to go. Um, with this, it does have a little lip right here, so if this is a kind of a kill for you guys, then I guess stay away from Husky brand, but it's not really a kill to me. Um, you do have to open the right one before you go to the left one. Um, it also has the magnetized top, so that's pretty cool. Um, it also has a key that comes with it so you can lock the whole thing up. So 